How do these hardware wallets actually work and why do people consider them so secure? Hey and welcome, my name is Julian. I'm one of the co-founders here at 10X. And on my personal YouTube channel, I wanna talk about things like cryptocurrencies, blockchain, decentralization, and many more things. And today I wanna to talk about how hardware wallets work and if they are actually secure, why they are secure, and whether you should actually use them. And let's get started first on how these hardware wallets actually work. Well, a hardware wallet is a quite straightforward thing. Now, the concept is, or the, the concept is simple, how they're built is quite complicated. I actually know the CEO of Ledger quite well, um, in, they're, they're sitting in France, and I've had him explain to me personally how difficult it actually is to engineer those and manufacture those. But so the basic concept is quite simple. Um, in Bitcoin or in any other cryptocurrency, actually what happens is it's all about cryptography. So that means you send information to someone and that person or that thing signs this and forwards the final information. And I'm gonna explain to you what this concept of signing is. Um, there's quite a lot of explanations, but I'm gonna give you my explanation. But what this basically does is it allows to prove to someone that I have this information that I sign with. So see it this way. Imagine that you give me a color, okay? Let's say you give me a color red. And I have my own color, and I'm just gonna mix those colors together. And then I'm gonna give you the result. Now, it's almost impossible from the result, depending on obviously what my color mix is. So let's not say I have the one single color. Let's say I use different colors it's almost impossible from the final result to know what kind of colors I added to your original color. But this percentage of colors that I have here is quite unique. So let's say you give me a red and I add green, yellow, orange in very, very distinct, clear, that only I know, percentages. And now I add them all into a pot. I shake it and I show it to you. Now, what this tells you is, it tells you that the original information that you gave to me is still in there and that I added something. And whatever I do again, I can always add the same things. You never know what the original colors were. So this is basically the private key, this is the original information. And what you give me here is some kind of information and I sign it by adding it together. Now in reality, this is a cryptographic function that's not as easy as putting colors together, but I wanna give you the concept of it. Now, here's where it gets really tricky. If you have a regular online wallet, let's say on your phone, what happens is you get the information that you have to sign and signing just means that you send coins from somewhere to someone because you use the private key to sign the information to authorize coins, for example, to be sent. Now, since this private key is in or on the phone, in the app, once you sign, it basically touches it directly and if a hacker was there, he would not only see the final pot with the colors, he could actually get the information of what kind of colors you have. And because they always normally would get mixed, it's impossible to know if you just have the final result. But if you actually get to look at the colors, it's always easy in the future on to copy paste that. Because no one else can produce that pot without knowing what the actual ingredients of the original color thing is of your private key. So on a, a digital wallet, for example, on a soft wallet, the problem is this private key, the information of what this mix actually looks like is grabbable by a hacker. It, it's, it's there. Obviously you can go the super safe route and you can put it on a piece of paper. Then the problem is the ingredient is always offline. No one can grab it, but it's impossible for you to sign because you're not gonna sit there and do the signing yourself. You could, but you always want a computer to do it because otherwise it's just gonna, it's boring because it takes a lot, a lot of time. So the perfect mix is this. Keep the private key so the information on what the color, your colors look like always secure so no one can ever enter it and have that person sending the information in there, have it sign in there, and then only send out the final color scheme, so basically the signed message. So how does this look in reality? Well, how this looks is, you need to plug in the USB into your computer, and then you have to physically type in the pin code here. So this unlocks the device, and only then a communication can actually be paired. Now it gets really important. Never ever, nowhere, can this information in there be accessed from the outside? So no one from the outside, from the computer, can access your pin code. So no one can access the information what this color looks like. What they can do is they can send information in there 
And then when you confirm it, that's why you have to confirm, this thing signs it and sends the, the signed message back out. So the outside, what they see basically is, they see the color that they want you to add to your color. You, they give it in there, they don't see what's happening in there, and then they get the final mix out. And this is why hard wallets are actually some of the most secure methods to store your private key, and one of the most secure methods for you to handle your private key. And it's actually also how I personally store my private key um, in these hardware wallets. And that's something that's really, really relevant and important. Now, potential attacks, obviously, is also always something that can be done. Um, obviously, the most obvious attack is if someone knows your PIN, right? So keep the PIN really, really secure. That's really important. Um, even if you would go to a scam, to a phishing site, right? And you would plug your cable in, and then you don't understand that this is a scam phishing site. Even if there, you would send money somewhere, they couldn't know your private key because they never had access to your private key in the first place. All they would see is sending information in, the original information, and then getting the signed message. They never see the private key that was used to sign the message, and it's impossible to retrace it. So that is really important. Now then every once in a while you hear like the scary messages that someone was able to attack it or, or have a side way into it as a, a side attack. Um, that's why you should always look for updates um, that these uh, systems and senders, and I, mean, I don't want to only talk about Ledger, Tracer is the same company. I think everyone is doing a great job in this kind of field. So um, yeah, you just want to be sure that uh, you always have these things updated. Um, I spoke with the CEO of Ledger about how it would be possible to access this thing actually physically and get all the info out. And he says, even if there was a billion dollars, like a private key with, billion, with a billion dollars attached to it in there, he wouldn't worry that someone from the outside could access it. And I totally believe this. I spoke to a lot of other hardware specialists and they all agreed to this. Now there's one really big important thing. Sometimes you have these scam artists out there who try to sell you a USB stick, a regular USB stick, and tell you that this is the same thing as one of these hard wallets. And this is the worst mistake you can do because a USB stick can be accessed from the computer at any time. So you can access the information and therefore you can also access the private key. So don't do this mistake of being cheap on 80 or $90 and uh, yeah, kind of not being smart about it and just trying to save at the wrong end. Um, I have an affiliate link down below um, if you wanna buy one of those and uh, I think I get $5 if you buy one. Um, I would gladly appreciate it. If you don't, it's also okay, um, but I just wanna be really transparent on the affiliate link there. But obviously, any support is always uh, helped. It's not that I'm uh, starving and I'm doing quite well, but I'm putting energy and effort into these videos. And so a little thank you back is always nice. I hope this explains to you how these hard wallets work. That's pretty much how they all work. They're, they store the signing piece in there. The signing piece never leaves the hard wallet and this is something that's really essential and really important. And I hope that makes sense. Let me know some questions in the comments below. If you like more of these videos, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, share this if you feel more people should know about this. To me, these hard wallets are an essential piece to make crypto go to the masses. And other than that, join our Facebook group. If you want more background stories about me and my company, follow me on Instagram, join me on Twitter, everything, all the links down below. I would love to connect with you. So with this, have a really great day. and Looking forward to the next video. Yours truly, Julian. <music>